Hey guys, what's up? Today we're looking at application of double integrals to find centroids or centers of mass. And we've got a region here that is a triangular region. It's got vertices negative 1, 0, 0, 2, and 2, 0. And we have a density function that tells us how the mass is distributed in the triangular region. And it seems to get larger, the mass gets larger as we move in the y direction. It seems to not really depend on the x direction, but only in the y direction. So let's look at this region first, and then we'll try to figure out how we're going to integrate to get the mass. But first of all, the region of integration is going to tell us everything we need to know as far as the bounds. So the region of integration has these vertices negative 1, 0, uh, 0, 2, and 2, 0. Now we got to integrate over this region. If we have to integrate over this region, it's going to be either a type 1 or type 2 set up for our bounds. Type 1 would say, okay, take y and go from 0 up to these two lines. Well, that's going to be two double integrals if we do type type 1 bounds. However, if we do type 2 bounds, that would tell us x just needs to go from the left line over to the right line. So let's set this up with type 2 bounds and see what happens. So type 2 bounds, type 2 bounds are going to be y going from 0 to 2, and x going from, well in this case, the left line to the right line. So the left line, we've got to figure out what that equation is, and that looks like it has a slope, y equals 2x, and then shift it up 2 units. And then the other line over here, that's going to have a slope of negative 1, so y equals negative x plus 2. When we plug in x equals 0, we get 2. Same thing here, we plug in x equals 0, we get 2. All right, so these are two line equations, but they're no good as is. We need to solve them for x. So if we solve these for x, the left bound is going to be y equals 2 times x plus 1. The right bound, let's see, move x over, subtract y, we get x equals 2 minus y. So we got the right bound, and then solve this for x, we'll get x equals y over 2 minus 1. So these are our bounds for x. So the lower bound is y over 2 minus 1. The upper bound for x is going to be 2 minus y. So now we've got our bounds, our type 2 bounds for this region. Now all we have to do is remember what is the center of mass. All right, so these are our three equations for the center of mass. We need to know that the mass is just the double integral of the density. We need to know that x bar is 1 over the mass times the double integral of x times the density. So basically what's the average x value? And then the y value, the average y value is 1 over the mass times the double integral of y times the density. So we're finding the average values of x and y in this case. So let's go with these bounds that we've got. We can go ahead and calculate these double integrals. All right, so first we've got the mass is equal to integral from 0 to 2 for y. Integral y over 2 minus 1 to 2 minus y. Now the density we see is 2 times y, so 2y dx dy. So this is going to be the integral from 0 to 2 times, integrate this with respect to x, we just get 2xy, and then plug these bounds in here for x. So y over 2 minus 1 times, or all the way up to 2 minus y, and then dy. So this is going to equal integral from 0 to 2 for y. Now plug these bounds in for x. We get 2y times, get 2 minus y, minus y over 2 minus 1 dy. Now simplify and then do the integral for y. Integral 0 to 2. Let's see, this is going to be 2 minus y minus y over 2 plus 1. So 2 plus 1 is 3. So this is going to reduce inside here to 3 minus, let's see, 1 minus a half is 3 halves, so 3 minus 3 halves y. 
inside this set of 3 minus 3 has y. And we can continue with our integration. So 2y times 3 is 6y. Multiply by 2y here, we're going to get 3y squared. So minus 3y squared dy. Now we integrate that. That's going to give us 3y squared minus y cubed from 0 to 2. Plug those bounds in. We should get 3 times 4 minus 8, or minus 0 plus 0. This is going to be 12 minus 8, which is 4. So the mass is equal to 4. And that's probably, we'll just say, kilograms. This uh, density function is um, kilograms per meter squared, basically. It's a lamina, so there's no real thickness um, to, the, to the lamina. It's negligible compared to the area. So we'll just say it's an aerial density. So this would just be kilograms. All right, so now we can find x bar and y bar. So just recall that the mass is 4, and then plug in for the x bar and y bar computations. x bar now is going to be 1 over 4 integral from 0 to 2, integral from y over 2 minus 1 to 2 minus y. And now we multiply by x, 2y dx dy. So this is our x term, this is our density, so we're multiplying our density by x to get x bar. So now this is going to be 1 over 4 integral 0 to 2, and now we integrate this with respect to x, we get x squared times y. x squared times y from y over 2 minus 1 to 2 minus y. So we're plugging those bounds in for x dy. All right, so now simplify. It's going to be 1 over 4 integral 0 to 2 x squared. So 2 minus y squared. Let's just pull this y out front first. So y times, and then we have 2 minus y squared minus y over 2 minus 1 squared dy. All right, so this is going to take some simplification here. So let's simplify this. It's going to be 1 over 4 integral 0 to 2 y times 4 minus 4y plus y squared minus parentheses y squared over 4 minus Let's see, minus y plus 1 dy. And let's try to simplify that just a little bit more. 1 over 4 integral 0 to 2. Uh, let's see, keep that y. 4 minus 1 is going to be 3. Negative 4y plus y is going to be negative 3y, and then y squared minus y squared over 4 is going to be plus 3y squared over 4 dy. And now we can say this is going to be 1 over 4 integral 0 to 2. I'm just going to distribute this y now. Get 3y minus 3y squared plus 3y cubed over 4 dy. So that's going to be 1 over 4. That first term was 3y, so integrating that we get 3 halves y squared. The second term was 3, negative 3y squared, so that's going to give us negative y cubed. The last term was plus 3 fourths y cubed, so that's going to be plus 3 over 16 
y to the 4. And this is for y going from 0 to 2. Now, plug those in. We're going to get 1 quarter times 3 halves times 4 minus 8 plus 3 over 16 times 16. And this is going to reduce to 1 quarter times, let's see, that's going to be 6 minus 8 plus 3, which is going to be 9 minus 8, which is 1, so 1 quarter. So the x component is 1 quarter. So that's our x location for our center of mass. And if we look at this, this triangular region, just trying to analyze it a little bit more, if we go back, we say, okay, this triangular region is, um, it's not symmetric. So there should be some, there should be more mass to the right of the y-axis because there's more lamina over there. This does turn out to be the case from our computation. So now let's calculate y-bar. So we know our y-bar calculation should be 1 over 4, integral from 0 to 2, integral from y halves minus 1 to 2 minus y, and multiply by y now, so y times 2y dx dy. This is going to be 1 quarter integral 0 to 2. Integrate this with respect to x. Well, the 2y squared stays how it is, and we get an x. And that x goes from y halves minus 1 to 2 minus y. And then we have dy left. All right, so this simplifies. We get 1 fourth integral 0 to 2, 2y two squared times. And this should simplify to the same thing we had in the first integral because the bounds are being plugged in the same. So this is going to be 1 quarter integral 0 to 2. Uh, let's multiply this. We get 6y squared minus 3y cubed dy. And we integrate that. Get 1 quarter times, let's see, 2y cubed minus 3 quarters y to the 4 from 0 to 2. And plug in those bounds, we get 1 quarter outside still. And we get 2 to the 4 is 16 minus, let's see, 2 to the 4 is 16, 16 times 3 quarters, it's going to be 12. So 16 minus 12 is 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1, so y bar is actually equal to 1. So our center of mass location is at 1 quarter, comma, 1. 1 quarter, comma, 1. That's about like right here. So there's our center of mass, a little bit to the right of the y-axis and then up halfway. So there's more mass. Actually, if you look at this density function, there's more mass at the top of the lamina. Lamina gets denser as you move up, so there's more mass at the top. So we, we see even though there's less substance there, it's more dense. Therefore, the center of mass is halfway up in this case. And that's how we do it.